Okay, so tonight I'm at the Cotswolds Hotel in Spa in an economy double room. So this is what you get for £42 a night. Uh, I must stress, I looked prior to coming here what I could get elsewhere. And the cheapest like Premier Inn style hotel uh, was £72. Travel lodge was even more, so I thought I'd try the golf club again. So that's the wee tip for you there. Golf clubs usually... Uh, Hotels that are full at the weekends, not in the midweek, because they're usually in the middle of nowhere, so it's a nice one for you to try. But this is what you get for £42, really good quality room. This is why you get them at this price. You will not get this price in the peak season, but it's currently winter, so I'm quite happy with that. So I have booked an economy double. So this is what you get for 42 but you can book £42 room and they give you something else. I have been here three times now. And three times prior to this, they've given me, uh, times prior to this, sorry, they've given me a, a better room or um, a higher end room, but I've only paid the lower end price. So that's good. So let's go and have a look what we've got. So, a nice room, just a bit smaller than most uh, here, but absolutely adequate. So what have we got here? We've got some nice border biscuits there. So that's nice that they give us the extra ones and they are branded. I've got some Twinings tea. What's this one behind? I've got Akbar's. Not heard of that one. We've got some Nescafe and some milk and sugar clean cups, although they are different ones, but does it really matter? I don't think it does. And I've got a nice clean kettle there. So they give you these lamps either side. The lamps, they are touch ones, so they've got three different settings on them. And they're both sides of the bed, so that's good. And there's a hair dryer in there at some some one of the drawers. We've got a phone on the wall as well, and a bin underneath. It is a compact room, but there's still plenty of room around the bed. So I can still get around in a mirror on the wall there. So, straight away we've got a super king size bed with big um, duvet on top. Very good quality and really, really comfy these beds. We've also got a stand for my bag there, and a, a set of drawers, and uh, the big bay window thing there. So now, a nice big wardrobe, we've got an iron, we have got the board, it's just to one side down here. We've got the unstealable hangers, and a safe as well. When I came in, the towels were on the bed, but I don't know why they put them on the bed, when I need them in the bathroom. We've also got a nice big Samsung branded TV, so hopefully I can connect my phone to that as long as it's not in hotel mode. And we've got a big mirror and door there. So this hotel itself, the where I am tonight, is uh, situated a separate part from the hotel. So there's around 12 rooms in this block. You can get your own private lift as well. So there'll only be 12 rooms here tonight. There, I've seen someone already in this block uh, well worth the money in my opinion 42 pound a night for a super king size bed in the Cotswolds where are you going to get this price anywhere else you're really not so let's have a look at the bathroom so we've got a nice big bathroom really good quality we've got marble style tiles on the wall well, maybe it is marble I don't really know uh, really high end polishing that's going on here everything's shiny and everything's super clean. We've got decent toilet roll. It is not the cheap stuff. It's really expensive, you can tell. I've got tissues and we've even got the sanitary bags. So at least they've thought about other people, which is really good. So we've got a floor mat and we've got two glasses there with the caps on so we know there's no dust in them. We've got a big mirror as you walk in with the Cole and Lewis body lotion, I think it is there, and hand wash. Big sink with under sink storage. So, oh sorry, there's the hair, hair dryer. I knew we'd have one somewhere. We've got a nice pull out mirror and a heated towel rail. Big mirror in front there and a, a light above it. And then you've got a massive walk in shower. Look at that. Really good. The great pressure on these showers. I've stayed here before, as I said. Straight to temperature. Really, really good quality. All the furnishings and fittings feel good. They're not run down in any way. So we have got one of them stupid non-slip mats, so I won't be using that because they make it worse. 
We've got separate controls as you walk in. See, that's another thing that hotels forget is you've got to get in the shower for half the uh, hotels that are staying to adjust the temperature. Well, here you don't. You can do that before you can get in. Has a nice, easy reach there. That's good. And again, on the wall, we've got shampoo and body wash, conditioner, and hair and body wash as well. Got a nice shower head there as well. It's clean, it's all shiny, it's all relatively new. So this is what you get. £42 a night in Cotswold. What do you think? Do you think it's worth it? So I'll just show you the view out the window. So, the three car parks here. You've got this one in front of us, which is absolutely massive. And as you can tell, there's not a lot of people staying here tonight. I really don't know why, because there's nothing wrong with this hotel. We've got another big car park as you drive in and we've also got an overflow car park which is like gravel obviously that's for when they're doing uh, big golf things yeah really love this place so just to give you a bit of information of what it would probably normally cost it's, it's going to be a lot more than 42 pounds especially in the summer so the golf carts if you want to hire a golf car it's 65 pound for the day if you want to play golf and hire the car, you're looking at about 170. So, you know, it's, it's more to hire a golf car than it is to stay the night. Madness, really, but keeps it cheap. I'm happy. And it's going to be this price until your golf season starts again. So, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. Is it worth the money? I think it is. Okay, so you'll have to excuse the wind noise, but I just thought I'd show a bit of the uh, golf club. So this is what you get. Really, really nice views. All the way around. It's currently closed, but it is winter. Yeah, really nice.